If I understand the equation correctly, it says something unbelievable. That time runs at different rates, depending on how fast you're moving. Take a train zooming through a station. This equation predicts that a clock on the train, reading time t dash, would run slower than clocks reading time t on the station platform. I've never noticed it, and here's why. This bit of the equation is what makes the two clock times different, but it only has a significant effect if the velocity v of the train is very fast, close to the speed of light. But if the train could reach the speed of light, you get 1 minus 1, which equals 0. And then t dash equals 0. Relative to the platform, time on the train completely stops. This stretching of time seems impossible. But according to Arthur, it's been proven by practical experiment. Now that's really something, that's wild. And he realized that's because time is a relative quantity. Just, right. as, I, just as I discussed with you. Right. That your time is only the same as my time if we're standing still next to each other. Yes. But if you go away and come back, your clock, although it would be very difficult to perceive it, will read a slower time.